and here we go, we are back again to continue and finish the discussion on the DC collectibles, uh, DC bombshells figures. In the previous video I covered Wonder Woman and Poison Ivy and this time I will just continue talking about the remaining two figures from the Way 1 and that would be Batwoman and Harley Quinn. So let's tr get things started with Batwoman. Batwoman here is it's sort of a pun on, on the name of her character, Batwoman, and she's actually representing here a baseball player. So I guess the pun was it intended. Um, so Batwoman holding a baseball bat and dressed up as a baseball player. Now this kind of costume, and there were some uh, ladies in the U.S. who would play baseball around, roughly around the times, I believe, if I'm, somebody can correct me, uh, 1940s, 1950s time period. They had their women's league, I believe. And uh, so she's wearing the type of costume uh, that would resemble how a woman would be dressed in a baseball game. But there is a lot of details showing that that's actually also her uh, costume or resembles her original costume from present day. So there is a a bat symbol at the front. Her baseball hat is modified to resemble her mask, so there is bat ears on the side, and there is a bat symbol in the middle of the hat. She is also portrayed with her long red hair, and she's wearing uh, knee high socks and the sports shoes. She comes with a baseball bat that can be removed from the hand so they're not molded together but the grip on the bat is rather loose so it's not a very tight grip but you can sort of move it around a bit and make it a, a bit stronger grip on it. Now what's engraved on her baseball bat is her name, Batwoman. That is the only inscription on it. The articulation wise she is pretty much almost the same as the previous two figures with one slight difference, because she's wearing a dress, she's not able to really move her legs too much forward, not quite. And she can move her legs a little bit backward, but because of the the dress itself, she's unable to do that, like the other ones can, uh, such as Wonder Woman and Poison Ivy there. So there is a limitation in the in the legs being moved around. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. She has a slightly better uh, art, uh, articulation in the shoulder that she's able to move her arms a bit more sideways compared to the other ones. And her head can move roughly a little bit to the left and right. Why is that? Because this time around, unlike Wonder Woman, the hair is actually coming in the way and it, it cannot allow her to completely uh, move the head left and right. Her head is also on a ball joint so she can look slightly to the left and slightly to the right which is a nice touch and she has with she has a couple of different interchangeable hands and one or two more accessories which I will show you in a minute. So there is a gripping hand the one that would hold the bat and there is a, a fist shaped hand and I'll show you the kind of uh, accessories she would come with. Let's just make her stand. By the way, none of these figures come with a plastic stand, so you gotta find a way to position them, be otherwise they will just keel over and fall. Uh, older DC figures would usually have a plastic stand, but since the name was changed to DC Collectibles, some of them are actually not coming with any plastic stands anymore, so you always have to find a way how you're gonna make them stand. So the other accessories you would come with is this hand that has a peg that you would practically just insert into her arm so that she can hold it. And over the hand is of course a catcher's myth. And the thing about it is that it's sculpted over the hand so it's all one solid piece. And she also comes, of course, with a little uh, ball for baseball as well. Now that little ball is quite easy to lose so what I would suggest is that 
you would just plug it into the mitten you can hold it very hold it very tight so that it doesn't get lost so that's how it looks like pretty much when it comes to her hands there is i mentioned some already the uh, one that would hold the bat and the and the fist one and then there is this one that's uh, sort of a bit a wider grip to it and of course there is more uh, ones shaped like a fist and um, also the one with the tighter grip like the one holding the bat so it's like three sets of different types of hands with only this one being an exceptional one because it has an accessory molded onto it now we're going to move to, for, to the final figure by the way the bat woman here does not have the playing card from the deck I showed you earlier unfortunately that uh, she was not included along with some other female characters from the comic book but they're probably planning I assume to make another deck of playing cards hopefully in the future that shows the reminder of them and here is the Harley Quinn the girlfriend of Joker she is represented in a completely different way she still looks wacky in a way you can sort of tell but this time she's dressed up as a as a, a military pilot so she has a a, a pilot jacket and the um, and the uh, boots and the uh, socks and so forth and she has again knee high so actually quite uh, long socks all red in different colors red and black articulation is very much the same as the other ones she can move her legs about that much forward and her shoulder articulation is also much better because she can move the arms all the way up and she comes with some unique hands for posing such as V for victory one hand of like that looks like that she has gog pilot goggles she has her cork gun that she can grip in the other hand she also has a little belt that has a batman symbol because i guess even though she's enemy of batman she also admires him so she made her own utility belt which is quite funny and she also has an interesting symbol at the back of her bomber jacket and it's a uh, joker face of the Joker and it has the inscription uh, Joker's Wild so that's a very nice touch sorry if you guys can't see it too clearly it just gets a bit blurry I guess because the it looks so small she also has a Joker hidden card in her socks and one of her socks is red and the other one is black just like her classic costume it's divided into two colors so I'll show you her accessories. She has uh, one particular accessory that's used by her and that would be her mallet. And this mallet is enormous this time around. It looks like a whole wooden barrel that has a handle in it. And of course this hand that you would put, because she has interchangeable hands as well, you would just put her hand to hold this mallet and the hand is not molded with the handle so they're two separate pieces but it's quite interesting because when she whacks somebody with this they probably wouldn't get up anymore so it's interesting that the mallet this time around is much bigger than any of her previous ones this is how she looks in the playing in the deck of playing cards based on the comics she's quite brave and insane to ride on a on an actual bomb that's gonna smash on the ground she's riding it like it's a like it's a wild horse or something so that's how she would look in the comic book and her hands aside from the specific one that she holds for V for victory she also has close closed fist hand and an open hand and of course the gripping hand that would hold the, the big mullet anyway that's the discussion as far as the uh, uh, DC bombshells goes there was another wave a second wave released which I don't have at this point in time but after that second wave of figures the line suddenly stopped will there be more some were already cancelled in advance such as Supergirl and, and I believe her name is Bumblebee uh, those two female characters were cancelled for a possible wave 3. There's supposed to be a release in 2018, but that was cancelled as well. 
of Harley Quinn as a nurse kissing a sailor that's actually Joker, commemorating that moment when World War II was finished, and the people in U.S. specifically were quite happy and rejoicing, and uh, a sailor randomly kissed a, a nurse on the street, and they were trying to resemble that set with Harley and Joker, except she's the one kissing him this time around. And that particular set of two figures with Joker and Harley should be released, maybe it was postponed, it seems, until next year. So maybe next year it will actually come out. But other than this small limited number of figures, um, there is also a lot of statues based on the DC bombshells, too many of them. And some of the characters there, some of the female characters in the statue form, should have been made in the figures, but unfortunately not, so there is always hope to see them in, in the form of figures. It depends will the line of the figure still continue somewhat or not, but that remains to be seen. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, you guys. Sorry I had to split it in two parts, but if you see my previous video on this one, you'll get the complete picture about all four figures. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.